Hey y'all, this is James with Lazy Pond Farm Fish and Hunt. Today we're gonna to show you how to clean a big catfish. We took you through on one previous video on a small catfish. Now we're gonna do a big one. So stay tuned, we're gonna get them to you. Take a couple of these guys, throw them back on some ice, keep them cool. We're gonna work on one. Uh, I would say, and the veteran guess, both of these fish are right in the mid 40 class range. This one right here is your average size blue cat, and I'm gonna venture to say that one right there is probably because they're dense now. Probably I'm gonna say it's probably about a 15 pound fish. That guy there in that video there, that's probably right at about a 40 pound fish. Big fat head on him. So we got plain meat. That's the one we're gonna start with, and then we'll carry on through on the other ones. First and foremost, you know, I wear rubber gloves. It's really just to clean up quick or if I gotta switch over and do something, but uh, some rain bibs and some rain boots. This way you can rinse yourself off, keep the slime on you, you're not worried about it. You're gonna want two good sharp knives and a pair of catfish strippers. Y'all gotta excuse me, I'm gonna be shaking a little bit. We gotta take some pictures holding them, they, they're kinda heavy. All right, so uh, we're gonna rinse them down a little bit. Try to knock some of this slime down on him. big fish here. All right, so situation here is, is evidently when the larger they get, they get more meat in the head than jowls. Big meat in the head, so we're gonna take meat out of the head. We're gonna be taking also the fillets and we're gonna be taking the belly meat. And this guy, this size, we might try to take the collar meat so we can cook them all down in a fish soup, but we'll see when we get there. So uh, what we're gonna do here is, is we got two different knives here. We got a longer knife and we got a shorter knife. It's about a six inch boning knife, believe it or not. It's about a seven inch fillet knife, all right? This one's a Dexter Russell. I cannot remember the name of this one. Everybody always asks me in the video. Yes, they are sharp, so be careful. You're dealing with a lot of slick stuff. You slip, you're gonna fillet your own hand, all right? And these. Average catfish skinning pliers. There's different ones, different bills. You know, I do want to order some from Louisiana. They're better. All right, so big fish, everybody wants to either skin them, okay, which you can skin them first, or you can quarter them and flay them off and then skin them later. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna quarter this fish and skin it off later, because it's a larger fish. You don't have to take a whole full fillet off or fill it. So uh, basically what you're looking for here, this is probably gonna be because of the angle. Um, but this catfish is upside down, obviously. You got bones, which are the ribs. You can see there's a there's a line here. These are these are the end of his rib cage starting. All right. You're gonna come down to the end of them, right about why I say is about the anal. All right, and we're gonna take a line clean across. And we're gonna flay off his backside. So what I'm gonna do is, is we're gonna come to about the end of it. I'm gonna cut right into it. This is strange for a lot of folks, I know, but I'm gonna cut right down the middle of it. We're going to come right on down, which I didn't quite get to the end of that, but it's all right. I'm going to take it right on down. Then I'm going to score this tail out. All right. I'm going to come back over with my other knife now. That's a score that tail out. This is on the opposite side, but we're going to just basically run until we get to the middle of the spinal. All right. You're just going to lay this side off. And same on the other side. So I'm just going to run a line right above this anal fin. On the other side, which is, I should flip this around for you guys, but you'll get the picture here in a minute. I'm just basically running on the inside of this. You know, and as you're running along, it's the same thing as playing any other fish. Okay? The key is having a good sharp knife. They're kind of slick and I don't have a rag up here. I really need to be showing this on the back side. But...
take a couple minutes because it's a longer fillet. This is why we're going with this because if I was to do a whole fillet, it would be more aggravating to get off. So we're coming through. Oh, I think we just caught the tail end of that rib bone, so we're just going to take that right there. There we go. They got thick skin now. So that's one side. It actually, if you look at it, if you look at it, this here looks like a halibut fillet. But really, in a way, that's a big side there. That's just half of this fish. Okay? So now that we have this bottom fill ball, right? We're gonna come up here now and we're gonna take the horn end of the fillet, which is coming out towards the neck of this fish. So now we're gonna find these ribs. And we're gonna cut in on an angle from these ribs. And you'll see here in a minute. I'm trying to get this started through his skin. I'm running around the top side of his ribs. Right on the top side of his ribs. We're gonna take this. We're gonna bring him right on up into his neck. This is what happens when you deal with big fish. It gets uh, gets pretty serious here, folks. This is about like quartering uh, a deer in a way. We're just going to roll it off. And we'll put this all together here in a minute and show you what it all looks like. So right here on the top fin, this is hard to see in the video, but that top fin, this bone, it plates out. So basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut which I'm going to show you right there. You're going to want to cut and come up underneath it. Come up underneath it. That's basically what you're doing. And it'll roll right off. All right. Basically, we just finished out that fillet right there. There it is. <clears throat> so, you got the top half and the bottom half. We just rolled off that whole side of that fish. Okay? That's the top of the ribs. We're gonna take the belly later. We're gonna do the other side. And then we'll come back and show you what you do with the flakes to dress them up and get them cleaned off and get the skin off of them. So now we're gonna roll them over. We're gonna come here again, right here where the anal fins are and the end of the ribs. End of the ribs, which is right here on that knife. That's the end of the ribs, right? So the ribs are coming down. They stop right at the end of this front part of the knife, right where the anal fins are. All right, so right there is where you're gonna take a cut. We're gonna dive in, we're gonna half it. We come out here, cut right behind the anal fins. Half it. All right, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here where you can finish the end of this cut on the tail. Take a cut on the end of the tail, all right? It doesn't matter if you're a couple inches forward, a couple inches back. I mean, technically, very much meat there. This larger anal fin, all right, you're gonna cut across the top of it. Coming across the top of it. And you're gonna be coming in. Same with the back. If you try to come in from the back here, which you can, it's a little bit more, a little bit more cumbersome because it rolls over, it rolls with the fish. It's kind of in a, in a arc shape, so it's hard to kind of come in on there. So it's better to come flat and in. So what I'm gonna do here is, is I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna come in right here on the side. You want a nice sharp knife. You ain't got a sharp knife, you got a problem here. So you see how I just came in right there? Came in right there, just like so. Come in right there on that cut. I can get my fingers in there now. So as you come in there, as we're coming in there, I am now scratching that spinal cord. As you see, we're starting to lift up. As you see here. So I'm just walking this along till I hit the middle of his spinal. You see there? As you see, it starts lifting away. Don't worry about the little bit of guts up here and stuff. You can cut through the guts later because we got to trim it up. See how I'm coming in there? Now I'm rolling over top of the spinal cord in here. I'm on the back side. We'll get rid of those little bit of guts and show you. See how it's starting to roll off? See that there? 
This is about the best way I found to clean big fish to make it easier for you. Now we just took it off. We just cleaned off that whole bottom side. There it is again. Okay, there's that back side, as you see there. Now, we're gonna take the horn of the fillet off. It looks like a horn. We're gonna take that horn off, which is up towards the back again. Same situation. Okay, we're gonna find those ribs. And now we're gonna come in on a 45 on those ribs, above the ribs, okay? Now the skin gets a little tougher, you might have to poke through. The key is to have a good sharp knife and you're just tracing this fish out. I know it's hard to see because I got it facing away from you, but it all makes sense. Okay. Once you do it a few times, you get better at it, better at it. I'm gonna switch this over to a longer knife now. Gives you a little bit more length to get up underneath there. Okay. So now I'm gonna switch back over to a short knife to cut this skin to save that blade edge. Because we're going to be skinning them in a minute here too. This is without skinners, without pliers. There's a the horn side of that fillet now. So you can see it there from a catfish. So at this point here, I'm just going to show you what it'll look like before we take the belly off. That's what it should look like once you take it off. And this is still heavy. This is not light. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to take this belly meat off. So I'm going to spray this off just a little bit. We got a little bit of a little bit of a mess here. Okay. All right. I'm taking the belly meat off. Here's the belly. Taking this belly meat off. Once again, we have the ribs. There's a the top and bottom side to these ribs. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come below the ribs. But before we start below the ribs, I'm going to cut up here by this collar to open this up so we can run this rib line down. Okay. So now we're going to take this knife. And we're going to take us a cut. All right. So we're up here by the collar. I'm coming around this petrol fin and coming up behind his gills, okay? I'm gonna come right down here at his neck, make a little score. So when you get in here, we're in here now, I'm gonna switch this. It's a little bit more delicate. See, once you get in here, there's two things to note. Do not just plunge your knife in here because there's a gallbladder right up here in his neck. You hit that gallbladder, and it stains across the meat. It's all the bad bile stuff from your body. Everybody has a gallbladder. That stuff is not good to get on your meat because it'll turn it yellow. And once you've done that, you have now tainted your meat. And at that point, it'll have a very strong pneumonia kind of urine taste. So now I'm gonna trace these ribs down without cutting the gallbladder. And we're gonna show you what a gallbladder looks like in a minute. I see where the gallbladder is. So now I'm gonna stick my knife in here. I'm gonna come on the backside of these ribs. I'm sweeping, I'm pushing against the backside of the ribs sweeping up okay we're gonna sweep up you sweeped up so now we have a rib line we just laid that belly meat off you look in here now I'm try to roll this guy here for you guys you look in here I'm gonna show you there's the liver there's a the gallbladder in my hand see that gallbladder see that big jelly gallbladder all right, you cut that, it'll turn this meat orange. And at that point there, if you decide to cook it, it's tainted, it will taste like urine and under ammonias that we're trying to leave this body. This is what filters everything, all the bad stuff. So people, we remove our gallbladders because you know, sometimes it doesn't like to eat red meat. You know, you have a bad stomach problem. It's because your gallbladder is going bad. That's a gallbladder. All right. So now that we're on this side and we know where the gallbladder is, I'm gonna take my hands and kind of put my hands to guard this gallbladder as I just do a little bit of cutting to loosen this up. And as I do a little bit of cutting to loosen this up a little bit, okay? We're loosening this up a little bit, a little bit of this weight from this belly, okay? Now that we did that, we know where the gallbladder is. So when I flip this, the gallbladder's gonna drop. We're gonna come over here now. 
we're gonna cut <clears throat> the rest of the way around on his neck, on his collar. Okay, up to the bottom of this petrol pin here. Now, when I come up this petrol pin, I'm gonna come behind it. I'm gonna roll around the back side of this gill plate, and we're gonna repeat the process of coming down the ribs now. Okay? Now we're gonna come down the ribs. Once again, I'm gonna stick it in here, I'm gonna swoop up on an angle. As you're swooping up on that angle against the ribs, you're pulling the meat away. So now, that there is belly meat. Look how thick that is. It's a big fish. A lot of belly meat. I'm going to show you how to dress this up to get the inside membrane, which is the inside of the stomach wall, off the meat and the outside skin and taking the anal fins off. So we'll show you dressing here in a minute. All right, so now that we got those removed, we we'll lay that over here. Okay, so basically now we have taken the belly meat from this fish and the fillets. Now what we got left, everybody, is the head. So right here, now you can do this before you fillet this fish or after fish, it might be easier after or before, but it might be easier before. So I'm gonna score this, this head. We're gonna take the meat out of this head. I'm gonna score it down the middle of the head, run a line down the middle of the head. We're gonna make squares. So now I'm gonna come over here. This is what we're looking for. This is our target area. Okay, now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna run this square down the side. We're making a square here. I'm running it down, connecting it. Okay, up here on the front. One minute here, let me score the other side down. Score this other side down. On the front, come across this nose. We're making a square, a square cut, square cut, okay? Sometimes they're being a little bit crude. We come in with a reverse grip here and we'll poke in and cut down, okay? So basically now that we got these squares going, right? We got these squares going, we're gonna get them up on the side here. We're gonna join these lines. You can see that cut where it came down the side of his face underneath his eye. Don't cut up high. You wanna roll it down and around. It's almost like a square. Okay? Make sure it's all cut. A little bit there, there. So now what I'm gonna do is, we're gonna take these pliers. We're gonna to try to get a hold of this bad boy here. And we're gonna peel the skin off his head. Sometimes they want to act right. Sometimes they don't want to act right. The skin is tough. It looks like this guy doesn't want to act right. So we're gonna to try to get a hold of this. And lift this skin up a little bit. Poke it in here and get up underneath the skin just a little bit. Give me a starter line. Come back over here. There we go. There we go. Strip his head down. Now, if you don't want to mess with his cheek meat, you don't have to. You know, some people don't. They don't bother. But we're going to bother today just for the sake of the demonstration here, too. Get him stripped down. Get the rest of that dressed off anyways. All right, so we got cheek meat disposed. All right, I'm gonna come back in here on his head now. I'm gonna work out his cheek meat. The way a catfish skull is, it's very interesting. Don't worry about cutting his eyeball. All that will be trimmed up later. Okay. Just gonna work this on out. Of course, it comes down to the jelly of his eye. So there's a bone there that we're going to clip in front of. And if you had left this, to be honest with you. All right. Then there's the eye bone. This is right. Damn, I can't get the eye bone. There it goes. It's the eye bone. So I'll be mean, really honestly. It looks like pork. Look at the size of that. You get about like three or four nuggets out of there when you cut it down. There that one is. We're gonna do the other side. And I am sweating. <laughs> 
We are heating up in North Carolina today. It seems like this side wants to be a little arguable. Dealing with big catfish and skin, you can almost, be honest with you, you almost, you can almost uh, cut his skin off, man. Cut his skin off. But I'm going to show you anyways. We're going to flip that around. I'm going to show you anyways without skinning him because I don't want to see him yank on him too much. But he's going to plop that around. We'll come back later. That's my rambling part. Don't bother with his collar. There ain't much there, but that's it right there. Pretty much. Took his head muscles out, took his meat out. That's pretty much what's left on that part. This will go to the garden, fertilizer. All right. All right, we have cleaned the table up, rinsed it off. Now we have our quarters. So I'm gonna take you through on how to trim quarters. All right? So basically, we'll see here. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with a, a backside on this fish. There's the keel fin. That's what that fish actually uh, actually uh, when it's eating, it puts fat away in that keel fin there. So through the winter months when it's sitting, it actually burns some of that off. So these fish have a lot of fat in them. So what we're gonna do here is now instead of using the skinning pliers to take the skin off on a larger fish. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter them and skin them off like you would a bass fillet or, any, or a crappy fillet running the skin off. What we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter this because they have a blood major that runs down the middle of the fillet, you know, and that's where it holds a lot of oil and fish in this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it down the middle. I'm gonna run a line right down the middle, right? We're gonna try not to cut through our skin on the backside, okay? Now that we have this, because you're not gonna cut up, you know, if you were gonna grill this whole, yes, you would leave it whole, bake it whole, you would leave it whole. For our purposes, we're gonna be doing nuggets because everybody loves nuggets around here. So now that I took this down the middle, we parted this fillet down the middle here. I'm gonna take this knife and as you would do any other fish, we're gonna run it off, okay? We're gonna run it off. I'm gonna come up underneath here. I'm gonna start running it off. I'm gonna run it off. I'm swooping out and down, okay? We're just gonna run it off. And what we're trying to do is just cut a little bit high to leave some of that red on there. Of course, we're gonna come back and dress up, okay? The rest of this meat but right now i'm just running it off running it off the skin boom so you can see that red in there so we just ran that off but we did leave it looks like we left meat on there because we left a little bit but we left the red you see what i'm saying all right we'll come back later on to dress this off when we get ready to fry right now we got it quartered okay that little bit there before you fry you can trim it off or you can trim it off now so we're gonna sit this over here in this water and we're gonna do this other side now okay this is where a rag will help you. Give you a little bit more grip, okay? Give you a grip on that skin there. So I'm gonna come in here again, and I'm gonna run it down towards the skin, okay? And we're gonna repeat this process over and over on all the quarters. I'm swooping out, okay? Get a hold of this guy here. You can hear that rough skin. See, we're swooping through there. It's about keeping that downward angle. Keep that downward angle, okay? Get up underneath here again. Keep that downward angle. The downward angle. Okay, all the bad stuff and left it on the skin side, as you see there. Nobody was gonna eat that anyways. You see that? Now we're gonna take this skin and we're gonna make a loincloth. Now I'm just playing. All right, we threw it to the side. Of course you got some red there now you can come back this here is just the runners this that little bit of loose meat you see there hanging okay that actually connects to the fins and allows the fins to ripple you see how my fingers are rippling it allows those fins to ripple to stabilize that fish those are extra muscles to move the fin bones so it will ripple that there is not a part of any meat okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean that up real quick we just can come over here clean it up clean it up you can see it actually is separate as I'm removing it. 
has nothing to do. It'll actually pull off with your fingers, believe it or not, as you see there. It'll pull off with your fingers. It has nothing to do with the fillet. Okay, so we're gonna remove that. And that's what we have there. Now, if you want, this red meat here, this red meat here, this is where your knife skills come in a little bit. You can come in here real shallow, real shallow, real shallow. You don't want to do too much because you don't want to take away from your white meat. Come in here real shallow like I'm doing. And I'm going to take out this big middle plug of red. This big middle plug of red. Okay. Come back in here. I'm just going to trim it up a little bit. I'm going to take some of this red away. Take that red away. You can see that red right there as I'm removing it. Okay. And you can trim it up a little bit more, but that little bit of red don't hurt nothing usually. Let's get some of that big red off. So there we go. We're going to lay that in there. We got a little bit of this leftover red and nasty stuff. We're going to set it to the side. And that's pretty much dressing up the flay end of the deal. Now, we'll come over here to our cheek. Our cheek, so when you get them, you're leaving a membrane of the bottom layer of skin. You know, because skin's in layers. So you see there, you can see that white skin versus the meat. To our cheek, we're going to take it over here, and we're going to run that off. We're going to come up underneath here, and we're going to clean it off. See how thick that skin is. Just remove that skin. Now you got that backside. Look at that. See there? Go in the water. Okay, so that was the cheek and the bottom side of the fillet. Okay? Now what we're going to do here is we're going to show you about the belly section and the two anal fins that are left over. Okay, so this gets a little bit interesting here. There's a bone on these two anal fins. There's a bone. And there's a little lump. When you lay it flat, you'll see a lump right here on the tail end of the belly. There's a lump. That's the bone. We're going to take our knife, all right, and I'm going to cut up underneath this bone, both sides of this bone. Okay, so we're up underneath the bone here. We're just trying to conserve as much meat as we can on that belly, so we're taking up underneath the bone and wrapping it around. We're going to connect it to those tail, that tail end there. Make sure I don't cut my fingers and get where we need to go. All right, just going to keep cutting right on around up underneath it. And it'll remove. Make sure we get that other end of that tail in there. All right, there you go. So there. Now we just remove the bone that these are connected to. Try to show you here with my hands. Okay. There's not much meat of nothing on there. So this is gone. Now we have the belly. So there's two ways to go about this. You can cut clean down through. The inside belly meat, which this is that inside wall, the skin that's on the inside of the wall of the belly, or you can go ahead and skin that off first and then roll it off the skin. What we're going to do here is we're probably going to go ahead, I probably could sneak my knife up underneath here and scratch it away on an upward angle, on an upward angle, upward angle, constant upward angle. And we can skin off this belly meat on the inside. We start exposing the actual meat. And I'm just gonna bring it up underneath here. And we're just gonna scratch it off. Once again, this is about your knife skills. Okay, I'm just walking this. Walking this off. Okay. And a good sharp knife helps. If you don't have a good sharp knife, you're gonna be in a little bit of a trouble. Okay? We're going to roll it off and we're going to expose this. Now, some people, they don't even bother to trim this. If you trim your fish correctly, you'll have a better dining experience. When you don't trim and just cook with what you got, you wonder why stuff don't taste good. Because you didn't take the time to trim. So we're going to take the time to trim. Because I want the kids to enjoy this. Now, I'm going to show you something here. When you put fish on ice and if it holds just for a day over, the gallbladder will sit on the belly meat, okay? And it will leach through that thin skin, a wall of that gallbladder, right? And you'll get a small taint yellow. You see that yellow? This is what I was talking about. Don't worry, this is natural. What I told you earlier about cutting it and letting it leak all over the meat, that's a problem. This here is just shallow. 
on the meat. It didn't penetrate the grains of the meat, okay? So that there you can trim off and you won't have a bad sour taste, okay? Which comes with, you know, trimming the meat off. That's why you dress it and trim it. It's just like deer or any wild game. So what we'll do is, is we'll dress that around and we'll remove that. So I'm gonna finish up dressing this a little bit and then we're gonna take you through the step of swiping the belly off. You know, you lose just a little bit of meat there. It's not gonna hurt much. You could be all right. So this here, that's that tainous area. I'm just gonna cut this very shallowly. Once again, I'm not diving deep. We're just taking this off. And I've removed that yellow. Okay, we're gonna finish dressing the side wall up here. Okay. Large fish, you have to trim. This is, people talking about, oh, big fish don't taste good, this and that. Yes, you wanna throw big fish back because that's your gene pull us up. But if you take one or two here, you're not hurting anything to harvest them. I'm showing you how to harvest a big fish and how to trim it properly so it tastes good like a small fish. That's the big key is trimming. So now we have all the belly meat exposed here. We have all the inside wall off of that fillet, both sides there. So now we're gonna come through and we're gonna cut down to our skin. And as we showed you earlier with the other fillets, we're just gonna walk it off. We're gonna walk it off. And as you're walking it off, you can roll it away from you and roll it away. Just continue rolling and repeating the process. And we're gonna continue. And what you have here is a little bit of red on one belly side and trimmed off on the other side, if you saw what it looked like earlier. And that is how you trim up a belly on a catfish properly. And we'll sit in the water to keep it cool. And we're gonna do the other side. At this point, you can grab a rag here because she's gonna get a little slick on you. So get you a little bit better grip. And we're gonna continue this process over. And if you want, you can roll it away a little bit and continue your process. You're pushing down and sweeping, pushing down and sweeping. You wanna stay in connection with the table, connection with the table and the skin. Down and sweeping, down and sweeping. Keep repeating the process till you walk all the way through. Once again, there we are. Backside, inside. In the water, this is what you have for belly skin. There's the inside, there's the backside. And that is how you trim a catfish belly. So now that you learned about the fillets, on how to trim them properly, the belly meat, and the head meat, we appreciate y'all watching. This is Lazy Pond Farm Fishing Hunt with James. Stay tuned to another video. We surely appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.